just looking over at the lake there. That's, that's why it's chilly because there's no. Oh, hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet. Well, oh, here we go. I'm going to try to be, because I have to be a little involved. Um, Trump is going to win. I just, uh, I, I don't want to bury the headlines. I just tell you right away. Now, now you can go away. Cause I'm saying Trump, Trump's going to win. I'm going to tell you why, right? I, I have an ability. <laughs> It's not no, it's, no. It, it's just a certain logic to everything, okay? Uh, let me go back a little bit. Uh, let me do um, uh, Barack Obama. Okay, in uh, uh, his first thing, uh, 2008, right? So it's 2000, 2007, right? The, uh, it's like a New Year's, around about New Year's time, you know? Well, yeah, New Year's time. I, 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 was, I was on a trip, right? I, uh, I was taking a Robos Rail trip, that famous Robos Rail trip. And... Um, uh, so I was in Zambia when uh, Barack Obama was running, and he had that Iowa caucus results, whatever have you. And I was in Zambia. I, this is long. It's not complicated, but uh, I ended up in this hotel that it was. It was in, no, nobody, nobody was really there. But also there was this uh, this, uh, this this Zambian uh, uh, politician, you know, office, whatever. He uh, he had his, his side chick. He was hanging out with a side chick, right? So we was talking about, but he's, the reason I bring him up, not, not the side chick thing, because he's a politician, right? And so when the thing, the thing was coming on the TV about the results of the Iowa caucus, and I said, oh, Obama's going to win. Now remember, this is 2007 before, you know, before, I guess right, right before New Hampshire. And so nobody was thinking Barack Obama, you know, was still, uh, uh, how you say, um, they, they, it, it, it was like he hadn't really won anything yet, if you want to put it that way. So it was nobody was... Anyway, I said, gonna, this is what he's going to say. And I look, I said, because I'm looking at the visuals here. You know, usually when a politician wins a, a, a thing like that, you know, you see the, he, he's in front of a whole entourage in the back, you know, all the people holding the signs, you know, a, a mix kind of thing like that. But here they're showing him, and it's just him and his wife and the, and the two children. I said, hmm, this is different. So it was different. It was different. But what struck me is that, you know, uh, the other candidates didn't have young children, you know. So it just struck me. So I say he's going to win, and then and and so whenever that was happening, I was still traveling, and then I was coming back to Cape Town through, through Cape Town. Yeah, I was in Cape Town, sorry. and so uh, I ended up uh, going through um, uh, uh, Namibia to come down, and uh, there's a long trip. It was, it was it was a great taxi, best taxi ride I ever had. You know, well, combi ride, whatever you want to call it. Anyway. Uh, so I'm down in uh, in Vinhook because uh, I did, I got got in early and then yeah the the the, the bus to uh, Cape Town was only in the afternoon and it ended up, long story short anyway uh, 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 this guy invited me I could crash at his place you know waiting for the for the day like that rather than be whatever so his place was like a I'll say a gated community but there's a guard there and whatever have and so I was you know I always talk to the regular people you know what I mean. And so I was talking to the guy, I said, oh, because the, the, the buzz was like, you know, oh, Barack Obama is going to be, the, you know, first black, you know, whatever, whatever. And uh, I said, yeah, he's going to win. And the guard at the gate, he said, oh, he's not going to, they're not going to let no black man win, blah, blah, blah. I said, no, he's going to win. <laughs> so now the reason why I said there's a couple of things, I saw that, but what I was, but I, then I started really paying attention. Well, I was paying attention before too. Uh, but there was two things that struck me. One uh, he had a, a, a support from Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, Winfrey. and so so you, you can look at it as that the the women, you know, Oprah, say representing black women, if you will. So 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 she had he had her support, but the bigger thing was uh, that he played basketball. So it was relating to the brothers, right? So so to me, I'm, that's what happened in my head, right? And so let's leave it alone. So so he won, right? Then, uh, and let me, now, now let me jump forward. Uh, I'd like to talk about the, uh, he won. Oh, I didn't vote for him. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, then let's jump forward to, uh, then the next time was uh, 2000, uh, well, the next big election, I guess, was 2000. Not his re-election, which is, I won't get into that either. Um, but it was Hillary. Hillary was running, running, right? And it was against Trump. Now, it's interesting, the whole thing about Trump and the, and the media, you know, blah, 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 uh, of giving him support and then not supporting Bernie and all the rest of the, oh, what's that whole kerfuffle there. Um, 
But somewhere in them, because I wish it wasn't paid. Of course, I, I grew up in New York, so I, I know Trump. You know the whole thing. All of all of us. Trump has always been blah 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 blah. I never, I didn't have, I, I didn't watch TV, so I know about this Apprentice thing. I mean, you see clips and stuff like that. But I wasn't. I'm not a TV person, right? And so, uh, but uh, I, saw, I guess I saw a clip on YouTube or something like that, or, or on, on, on not, I wasn't on Instagram then, but whatever it is. And it was a, this guy Ali G. The um, uh, this English guy, Sasha Baron Conan, whatever it is, he, he was imitating this, this rapper at the at the time. This wasn't. It was a clip from from way way before that, like a few years before. And he would have people. I guess it was the '90s because he would, he would maybe yeah it was maybe the '90s because he had uh, he was doing this in the '90s of pranking these uh, politicians and important people like like the New Gingrich kind of people, right? And one of the people, he was in this hotel room, and he, come and he would interview them, but he would be outrageously like doing this this rapper thing, you know, you know, white people, rappers. You know. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Donald Trump was one of the people who come in. So Donald Trump came in, and uh, Donald saying, well, what's the deal? And um, the uh, Cohen guy went in, went to, or uh, was Ali G, Ali G guy went into his, his, his thing, and almost like immediately, uh, uh, Trump listened to him and said, not interested, got up and left. I said, oh, because all the other politicians, they would, you know, go, and they would get pranked or whatever have you. And I said, this is interesting. This was in July of uh, 20, I guess, 16 was the election. So, yeah, 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 July. And so I'm going like, oh, he's going to win <laughs> against Hillary. This is the, the July, the, the election's in November. And the reason why I said that, I'm going like, this guy is no joke. He knows what the deal is, you know? Okay. So he wins, right? Uh, so then I'm not paying it. And, and then, then, you know, did I even vote that? I, I think I, did I vote that that time? I'm not sure what happened. No, I think, I don't, I didn't vote for Hillary. That's for sure. I, I know I didn't vote for Hillary. So I don't know who I voted for. I can't remember. Uh, Maybe I vote. I don't think I voted for Trump. I'm not really sure what would happen there. Maybe I wrote. I don't know what I did. Uh, I think I wrote in. Um, then uh, this. Uh, so so let's leave all that now. Let's go to now. The reason why Trump is going to win. Well, back then was it uh, twenty? Oh yeah. Then he lost. Then he lost in twenty twenty or whatever. What what the hell? What, yeah, well, Biden won or whatever happened. But that was the whole thing. That's when the Democrats really, you know. Obama's putting his finger on a scale. They're doing a, you know, getting rid of people. Oh, they, 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 the Bernie whole Bernie kerfuffle. I like that word. Uh, happened or whatever have you. And then, so I'm paying attention. But then, see, things change all the time. And every time, every four years, things change, you know. And this year, I'm, uh, then I started really, this year I paid attention, right. But what, what, what the Dems, the Democrats, don't understand is that uh, you can't do the same stuff as before. Things have changed, you know. And this, and one of the things with, with uh, Hillary Clinton, while she, back then with Barack, when she lost to Barack Obama, the internet really started, they had this meme, this, uh, this, we call it the Pepe meme, right? I think it was with, the, with Barack, whatever. And the Pepe, it was a meme. Nobody knew what a meme was, but then with just this Pepe the Frog and, and, and people were, were trolling and making, making fun of, of Hillary or whoever it is making fun of. And uh, that was a powerful thing, right? Okay, so let's go back to what I'm talking about now. And so I'm going like, oh, they don't know how powerful, the, the internet is something else because now you have a bunch of people doing podcasts or whatever, have it. everybody has an opinion. Uh, in fact, let me, let me, let, let me let me, uh, how we say it, um, I want to encourage everybody, because right now, because you know, the, 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 the powers of bees, the, be it from the CIA or the political parties, they have they have uh, operatives and bots and whatever they're doing the stuff, you know, so especially if you have a low, whole lot of followers and stuff like that, oh, they're, they're, they're going to try to pay you off, we're going to try to do whatever, whatever, I don't have that problem with you, because as you all know, I don't, I don't, Ask for no shares, likes, whatever. So I don't have a whole lot of people following me. So I'm like, a, uh, I'm not even a guppy. I'm, I'm, I'm not even a tadpole in, in, in the thing. So there's no reason for them to, you know, try to sabotage what we're doing here. Because basically, I'm just one of the things about being uh, being older is that you really should 
talk to people but talk about your experiences and stuff like that and since nobody wants to hear the old man and so this is a way for me just to keep my brain or whatever have you and, to, and just to just to do what i do right because it's one of the things right you know, you're supposed to exercise when you're older you're supposed to eat right right you're supposed to uh have a, a, a group group of people around you that, that that concern for you that look out for you blah 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 and i have all those things so that's good you know uh so anyway so, I'm, so now i'm paying attention now uh, kamala right big problem first you don't answer no questions which is kind of stupid you know you're a politician you go out there and you, you interview the world whatever it is um but she really blew it i don't think she really blew it. i don't think she could stand for the, the scrutiny but she didn't do the joe rogan uh podcast but let me jump from joe rogan just to jd vance i know nothing about no jd vance right but the thing about it that when i saw both of those three hour things and what joe does joe rogan does and you know uh, like you were saying to me, you have a conversation to people you're not trying to do a gotcha when you do these uh these the, the regular legacy whatever they have these interviews and they try to do all the gotcha things and da 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 it that's that's so passe that's so a uh, last decade <laughs> that's last decade kind of thing uh so when you look at like the the, the trump thing i'm going looking, looking at the trump thing and they're having a regular conversation and, and a lot of people, because they're, they're so politically minded, they don't understand. And he was, Trump was talking about stuff that, oh, okay. Uh, but one of the things he talked about was the whole MMA kind of thing, the, the sports. That's the dudes again. Now, let me hold it right there. Because I'm just saying, I'm just saying it was a successful kind of thing because it just it humanized. You know, keep, people keep on demonizing uh, Donald Trump, but it, it humanized him, okay? And let's hold that for a second. Let's go to J.D. Vance. This is where I connect everything together. J.D. Vance's uh, thing with Joe Rogan, right, uh, was that, again, you, you learn more about him, but he's a, what, what struck me, uh, aside from talking about he has two young children, you know, so there's a whole connection, because none of these candidates now, they don't have any children, or at least young children, and they certainly, well, you know what Kamala's thing is. I don't know, her, her running mate, I don't, that guy's a wacko. When I say wacko, I don't, I don't even want to, listen to any, <laughs> I don't want to listen to the conversations about him because he's, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but what, what was interesting to me is that the, uh, what people don't know, uh, um, people love people with little children, you know, uh, John John, you know, uh, um, John John, you know, JFK Jr. Uh, uh, with JFK under the, under the table, under, the, under his desk and stuff like that. They love to, uh, Obama and the children, you know, again, you know, a family thing. You, you want your president to be presidential, but it makes it more whatever he is. He has uh, children, right? So J.D. Vance has the children, right? And then I'm looking at that and I'm going like, oh, this is interesting. Okay, let me say this. A lot of times when people, when, they, when Donald Trump picked J.D. Vance, uh, nobody knew who he was or whatever, have you? And then a lot of people say, oh, he's just Donald Trump, you know, he's going to be the next, he's, he's, the whole, this whole Republican thing or whatever, whatever, whatever they're doing, he's going to be a, whatever he's going to be which is, whatever it would say what you want, right? But Donald Trump is smart. I'm telling you, I care, keep on telling people, if Donald Trump is smarter than you think. And J.D. Vance was recounting how he became, how he became and, and Donald Trump would always write him in and talk about other people. So Donald Trump is like doing his ding, 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 ding. Well, here's my take on this stuff, right? Why Donald Trump is going to win. It's not J.D., well, Donald Trump is going to win. So you got one uh, 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 one team that has young children involved, right? Older, you know, say what you will about that, right? And then you have uh, Donald Trump had that rally at uh, Madison Square Garden. And I noticed on the internet they, uh, there's a, a, a thing with, uh, 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 with Sammy the Bull, you know, a, 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 a mafia guy, right? Well, he's an organized crime guy. Sorry, don't mean no enemies, nobody coming after me. Uh, an organized crime guy who was in jail with Judge uh, Apollyano or whatever that guy is down there in, in Nevada, wherever he's, wherever they're at. He, there was a really tough prison, and he's he, he's having an interview with these with these people, and he's explaining to him how at, at this Madison Square Garden rally, the, the, the judge, this judge guy, the, the, the 
sheriff, sheriff, not just sheriff of Palayano, whatever, sheriff guy that was also in charge of this prison that he was in. It was a really tough prison. They would do all kinds of mean things to the prisoners or whatever. Uh, and so he ended up, you know, he was shook, shook his hands at this event, whatever. But he was talking about how many people were there, whatever it is. And uh, people knew who he was. They talked about him, whatever it is. And then he said something. He said, and he said something that was very telling to me. Now remember, Donald Trump grew up in the, grew up with say in Queens, but it's like in you know, construction. So there's there's organized crime is involved with construction. <laughs> Let's put it that way, right? But uh, but Sammy, excuse me, Sammy Bull, whoever the guy was, right? He was saying like, you know, yeah, they tried to get to Donald Trump when he was doing construction, he would drive, whatever it is, and Donald would always nix him, nah. <laughs> So they couldn't corrupt him. They couldn't corrupt Donald Trump. Now, this is the, if, if the organized crime can't corrupt you, do you really think that the politicians can corrupt you? And we all know that he don't follow nobody's the, the Republican Party. He took over the Republican Party. The Republican, they, they fall into to his kind of thing. And every time they throw somebody, he just slices them down, just like he did with Ali G. Okay. But one thing that Sammy said that was really interesting, he said, Donald Trump is a gentleman. Now, you have to know codes, especially in New York, uh, if you're a New Yorker, whatever, or, or organized crime. They respect people who are on their square and are authentic, you know. So if you, if you try to corrupt them, like, like politicians try to turn somebody, whatever have you, and if they get you and they can turn you, then they know, oh, this is, you know that's, that's, we're going to play him all the time. Just like Barack Obama, we can, we can play him. You know, he's supposed to be black. He did nothing for, for, for black people. You know, and he and he does what he do. He, he he has this whole campaign, and then he wins. And instead of taking over the party, he acquiesces to the Democrat Party, whether they bought him up, whatever it is. And now, what is he? He's you know, he's in some sort of mansion in in Hyannisport, whoever, where the rich people hang out, especially Martha's Vineyard, whatever it is, right? And and then he's on his high horse, you know. And then when things get uh, how do you say a dicey for the for the for the Democrats? They think they're gonna they, they need some support. They they ask uh, Michelle and, and Obama to, to come on out of the mansion. So uh, they both get on their high horse and they go talking down to black people. You know, this is another thought I'll tell you about in a second. This is another talking down to black to, to black men first. Black men with the rock. And then then Michelle she can't talk down to black women. She talk about the all black people. You need to do this or whatever it is. But remember, they on their high horse. They on a horse. What's the high horse? What's the meaning when you're on a high horse? It means you're riding a horse, looking down at people, and as your horse pulls off after you have done lecture and moved on, the horse, the horse sort of, you know, uh, poops. <laughs> so the people are left with looking at you riding off your high horse, and you leave them with horse dung. I mean, I just want you to think about that. Okay. So uh, I want to say one more thing about oh, and there's this whole thing when Barack first started. I heard it from someplace else. So, um, uh, that Jesse Jackson is his first quote. Jesse Jackson got, got a hot, hot mic, and they always get this clip where he says, uh, Jesse wanted to uh, cut off Obama's nuts, right? Okay. But what they didn't do was the what he said right before that. So they, they, you know, they edit, I, they just say that the whole spectacular thing, cut off his nuts. But what he said before that, he's sick, and, Jesse said he's sick and tired. We're talking about, this is about 2007, right? He's tired of Obama. He's always talking down. To, to black people. Think about it. Both Michelle and whatever talk down. The Dem Democrat Party talking down. You see? What's interesting uh, about, I'm not, well, interesting about, 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 about uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, but Trump, he doesn't really talk down. He's up there, but you know, he just talks. <laughs> like that. And what's another interesting thing I find about, um, uh, about Trump is that uh, he actually listened. That's why I remember J.D. Vance, he, the thing about Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan was telling something, to he, J.D. Vance said, well, I didn't know that, you know, about the whole the psilocybin or the pharmaceutical. He said, whoa. So you can see this guy sort of open, but when you talk to the, the Harrises and, the, and the, her, 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 her Walson partner, whatever it is, you know, they, 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 oh, Democrat, they know the answer. They, it's, 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 to me, it's mind-blowing. Don't you see what you're doing? You're, you're a bunch of idiots. <laughs> So the reason why Trump is going to win is that um, first, well, he's going to win because he's you, he, you can see his humanity. You know, if the if if the mob 
is on your side. And oh, that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, one of the things that he came <laughs> with the Joe Rogan thing, they had an insert thing where, of course, uh, uh, Trump is into the you know the MMA, the boxes, that kind of sports thing. Again, men are into sports, and there's this whole clip where you know Donald Trump, the billionaires, was fighting, and and, and uh, uh, Vince McMahon, who was a billionaire, I guess, you know, they had a fight with Mil uh, Vince McMahon and Donald Trump, and Donald Trump, you know, beats him down, yeah, because this is wrestling, you know. Think about wrestling. I grew up with wrestling. Wrestling is just the men's uh, soap opera. You know, women will do go home and you see the soap opera as the world turns, days of our lives, whatever it is. But you know, uh, the men, our soap opera was like, you know. You know, Asax Cajon, you know, <laughs> super, uh, super fly snooker, whatever, you know, all the people like that, right? And so, and, and so that 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 was our thing. So, so now what I'm trying to say is that Trump's got the men because of the, the and plus, you know, and think about it also Trump's you know friends with Mike Tyson, but more importantly than that, and this is what nobody says. Obama was in all the time. Did Obama give a, a executive pardon to Jack Johnson? No. Guess who did? Donald Trump. Whoa. I'm not saying Obama, well, just think about that, right? Obama, black man, did not, and knows, know all the stuff, did, and it's supposed to be a sport, know about sports, did not give an executive pardon to Jack Johnson. You know, like that. But, see, don't worry, you, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Don't worry about that part. So, so I'm saying, so you got that? And then his running mates got the family thing, so you got and the women like that. Uh, uh, you got the the Dems send, send, send out the, uh, Barack and Michelle to talk down on people. It's like, don't y'all you you all a mess? You know what I mean? Now you got this whole thing with some black people that they're not going to vote at all. You know, rather than go for Trump, they're not going to vote at all. Whatever it is, and I uh, actually this morning because I wake up early, whatever, I called into uh, the Black Authority. You know, Jason Black. Uh, was the, the B1 brigade that I called in and uh, and uh, so I told him that I was gonna you know if yeah, I, I, I can't vote but uh, well I'm not gonna vote because I didn't do my absentee ballot I'm sitting here in South Africa whatever it is and I said you know I would write in lineage reparations or whatever he said then he educated me this is interesting right I should have known this I should actually no I should have known this I didn't know this and he said well if you write in it just mean anything nobody nobody sees that right so I said oh Wow, because all my two issues are reparations and no wars, right? And in the, I used to vote platform, like I was not in the Democrat Party, but they had the best platform. Listen, look into the platform. And back then, in the '80s into the '90s, uh, uh, all the time on the Democrat platform, they would have you know D.C. statehood. But when uh, Bill Clinton got into it, he said that D.C. statehood thing, nah, it ain't gonna happen. He said this to Jesse. So. I, since then, I said, oh, I'm through with the Dems. Forget it. Well, I do. well, I'm through with the Dems. This is like in the 90s, right? So let me go and say what I'm talking about. So I'm saying that what, 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 what the Dems don't understand, what people don't understand, is that uh, uh, I used to vote platform. Well, I used to vote platform, but they don't, have, they, they, they don't even listen to their own platform. But uh, the Stein thing, I'm really not into, well, Stein... Or, or the Green Party, at least in their platform, they have no wars, no imperialistic wars, whatever, and reparations. It's on. It's in their platform. So if I was going to do it, I would, I would vote for that. And I wanted to write in, but here's what Jason Black was uh, schooled me in, what the brother schooled me on. So now if I was to do it, I would write, I would still write in rep, rep, uh, lineage reparations someplace on the ballot, but just to be counted, have my, and I would write uh, lineage reparations on one, Thing and so say say for Congress and then say say senator or if governor whatever I would write you know no wars right but in the presidential thing I'd vote green for a number of reasons one because they have the platform that I want and two uh, uh, because it, it, if they're successful in these kind of states that means it goes into this electoral college and again this is a teaching moment they'll still do what they do. I'm going to say that I'm talking about the powers that be. But this is to teach them what that people will understand this electoral college thing and how things are rigged. So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying from personally, I would I would uh, do, uh, I would vote Green Party because that has, that's my thing. But also, if she gets enough things, and, 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 and especially in these border states, they have to go to electoral college, then we have some stuff with the with the Green Party. Well, with you, you, it's an educational moment. And uh, two, what I'm saying is that 
look, Kamala Harris, her mama was MK Ultra. That's what you people are trying to figure. Why is she the way she is? Because she's what I call MK Ultra adjacent. So all those people that the the, the the CIA and 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 uh, and Freud and, and all some people were getting these programs to, to, to mess up people's mind and make material Venturian candidates stuff like that. You can it plays out with her. You can see it. Her mind is scrambled. You know, woo. And then when you really think about it. You say, and they keep on his resume, she was the first this, the first that, the first this, the first that. And you go like, yeah, but she didn't earn any of that stuff. In fact, she lied with the first, she didn't earn any of that stuff. So anyway, so my, my, my prediction, I am certain that Trump is going to win and Harris. And in fact, it's not even going to, I don't even think it's going to be close. They're going to get slaughtered. The Dems are going to get slaughtered. Just saying. Talk to you later.